Hi, everyone. Welcome to the program. My name is Suchada Nimandit from Rangsit English Language Institute. Today, I'm going to talk about the language of research. My talk will be divided into five parts. First, the introduction. Second, literature review. Third, research methodology. Fourth, result and discussion. Finally, the conclusion. Talking about the introduction first. The introduction is the part that the researcher talk about the importance of the research topic. The researcher uses the following sentences. This is a topic of pivotal importance in. This has become an issue of great importance recently due to. In recent years, this area has seen significant advances in. Being critical, the researcher also criticizes previous study for being somewhat inadequate or leaving the gap for many researchers to explore. He will use sentences like, previous studies of, have not dealt with, or the research would have been more relevant if a wider range of has been explored. Selection bias is another potential concern because, or although extensive research has been carried out on, no single study exists which the definition of terms. In this section, the researcher give the definitions of key terms. The reason for this is to clearly state what the keywords or the variable are being studied. He may say, the term is, the term means, the term can be defined as. Next, the literature review. In this section, sometimes it's called the review of relevant literature. The researcher talk about what have been researched on this topic before. He might say, previous studies have indicated or have demonstrated or have shown that. Another important constraint on all works discussed in this area is the, the most recent and advanced theory proposed by offer a new approach for, or he may say, a systematic review of prospective observational study found that qualifying and listing. This section explains the classification or grouping of terms, concept, or variable. Various expressions can be used. The term can be classified into subsection 1 and subsection 2. The term may be divided into several groups, such as Group A, Group B, or Group C, transition. The researcher connects different ideas by using transitional words. And the transitional words or phrases will help connect sentences or paragraph together. For example, explaining causality. The researcher explained the causes 
using phrases like owing to, because of, as a result of, as a consequence of. The researcher can give examples of concept using the words like such as, including, for example, in talking about previous experiment, the researcher writes about the past. He will use past tense, of course. The study reported, or sometimes the present perfect can be used to emphasize the result. The experiment has been conducted in the field of internal medicine. Another experiment has recently been successful conducted on control. Next, I'm going to move on to the research methodology. In this section, the researcher explained how the study was conducted. He said, this study used or employ or apply experimental quantitative research, research methodology, or it used case study, qualitative, or mixed method research design. He can also say, this has been implemented using, or the subject were selected using, random, purposive, convenient sampling. The next section is the result and discussion. This section explains the result of finding of the studies. The research can describe figures or table. Example, as seen in figure one and two, figure three shows some example of, and the result are given in table four, shown graphically in figure four. Reporting quantity. He explained fraction, proportion, percentage. First, when he talk about fraction, he can use expression like a half or one half, a third or one third, a quarter or one quarter. Talking about proportion, he can say one in 10, two to three. When talking about percentage, he can say 40% of the... In reporting quantity, he can also talk about averages, like the average of, the mean of, or he can talk about ranges from two. Next, statistical significance. In this section, the researcher explained whether there was significant difference or whether there was no significant difference between the result of two or the result of more treatment. He might say something like, no significant variation is found in, which accord with the previous literature. This indicates no statistical difference and the value was nearly the same. There was no significant difference between, on the contrary, there was a significant difference between. The researcher can describe trends. The data analysis show the upward or up downward trends. Some results show the slight or gradual increase or decrease. The researcher used adjectives like slight, gradual, steady, steep, sharp, or fall, drop, decline, decrease, or rise 
increase search. The next section is the result. The researcher will explain the result of the study. Useful sentences expressions are these results suggest that the was caused by the. It remains unclear to which degree are attributed to. It is su suspected that this may be due to the. A number of suggestive theory fail to explain. According to the literature, this effect could be explained by, or this is mainly due to, as described by other authors in the literature. Or he could say, the observation also agree with the result reported by. Correlation. Is there any correlation between variable or tests? The researcher will say there was no correlation found between these two subgroups in terms of other variable such as did not show any significant correlation with. On statistical analysis, no correlation was found between. Compare and contrast. The result of two or more treatments will compare and the result will be indicated using various expression. If there is similarity, the researcher will use the word like similarity by the same token. On the other hand, if the result are different, he will say, on the other hand, on a different note, in contrast to indicate the contrast. Conclusion. The conclusion of the study was reported. Look at the word use. This paper or this study or this investigation is the bridges or proof or attributes or illustrates or advances the idea that etc etc discussing limitation the research explain the limitation of the study the limitation of this research include of this investigation however disregard or ignore any variable or any impact the issue of has been controversial and much disputed subject within the field last but not least discussing implication and recommendation in all research report. The researcher need to discuss the research implication issue, which are not completely understood and should be investigated further. Talking about the implication, he will say, the result might suggest that Talking about recommendation, he recommended that further investigation on similar issue are needed. Finally, for more details of the language of research, I have provided resources in the references here. Please check them. And I wish you all the best for your future research exploration. Thank you.